I did always want to be a writer. From when I was about six, I loved stories, I loved writing, and I started lots of stories and novels. I often didn't finish them, and I think that was a mistake, but I definitely really believed that I would be a writer. I did a course in about 1994 at Victoria University in creative writing, and when I did that course, I started one novel, which I didn't finish. I started a new novel. I finished it and then I sent it away to a publisher, got some good feedback, but didn't get it accepted. After we'd moved here in the early 2000s, I decided that I would make some short stories out of that novel. And I entered them in a national competition run by Tauranga Writers Association. It was judged by Dame Fiona Kidman. I actually came first and third, which was a complete shock, but very, very affirming to me and very exciting. I did my law degree. I thought I had no interest at all in the criminal law. And then that came about when I had moved here and decided to start writing a new novel. And I sat in on a fair chunk of the trial of those charged with the murder of Nia Glassie and became very fascinated by the criminal justice process and by the jury in particular. So I think what it was was that I was sitting there and I had a master's degree in law and I taught law by that stage for 12 years and I was finding it quite hard. The law was pretty tricky. It seemed to me a really big burden that we were putting on members of the public who'd just gone along to be on a jury and suddenly they were on this trial. I met up with some ex-colleagues of mine. I was talking about that trial and how interesting I'd found it. It just so happened that they were setting up the New Zealand side of a trans-Tasman jury study. They asked me if I would consider being the interviewer for the Rotorua trials. The jury study was actually about how juries made decisions and also how well they understood the judicial directions that they were given. After I'd done the interviewing, they asked me if I would like to do the first level of analysis for all the 45 New Zealand trials. Different jurors sometimes explained how the jury had made their decision in different ways, and that was quite fascinating to me. As I was doing that jury study, I became even more interested in the jurors and in these different perceptions. So I applied for a PhD in creative writing. I wanted to write this novel from the perspective of 12 narrators, 12 jurors. Dice is about a group of boys who make up a sex game based on the throw of a dice to determine what sort of sex act they have to do with which girl. They play the game several times and some of the incidents, there's a question about whether the girls were consenting and that's what the book's about. It did not happen, so I have made that up. I think really my characters come as I start writing. So I start writing a little bit and then gradually they develop and they become a person and then I go back and rewrite knowing more about them. I wanted to write about teenagers because I'd been the parent of teenagers for a long time. So I was aware of all the things that they have to deal with in terms of social media and in terms of negotiating consent and coming to terms with intoxication and so on. I was very careful to make sure that everyone was a fictional character. The situation in the book is completely fictional, but it could have happened anywhere. I wrote the book from 2017. I probably finished in 2023. Seven years, but not all of it was writing. <laughs> I'm not a fast writer. <laughs> so because it's published by Ellen and Unwin Australia, I can't be on the New Zealand bestseller list, but at one point was number 10 on the international bestseller list here, which is great. I've had some great reviews and some lovely feedback from people. I don't keep fixed hours. I try and write in a journal three to five pages just straight off the top of my head, fairly early in the morning. Definitely not an early morning person. It's part of what I always find hard with swimming, not an early morning person. My dad was a really good swimmer. He tried out for the Olympics and just missed out in England. I'd swum as a kid and done some competitions. When we moved here, obviously my kids learned to swim, but because we live quite close to the lake and we had kayaks, 
we had a bit of a rule that they had to be able to swim at least a kilometer without stopping before they could give up swimming lessons. But we decided to give a club competition a go. And it was almost like we were sucked into this vortex because from then on, they just wanted to swim and compete and they did super well to the point where they both ended up swimming for New Zealand and my daughter has swum at a national level too. And I became a coach, so we got this program, Making the Difference, set up, teaching water safety. I think that program started in 2017. For at least the last five years, we've been teaching 2,000 kids a year. My role in the last few years has been just helping with the funding. I definitely want to be keeping writing. I have got another novel, which I have a whole first draft of, and I've just recently started to go back and try and work out what the next stage of that is. I want to have a career as a novelist. For me, this is just the beginning.